a trapped dog. We'll be right back. Have you followed us on Facebook yet? You'll find exclusive content, live events, and trending videos to share. Just head over to the CBS New York Facebook page, click like, and follow us. This is Chinatown, and this is CBS New York. Time. It's life's most precious commodity, especially when you have metastatic breast cancer. When your time is threatened, it's hard to invest in your future. Until now. Kiskali is helping women live longer than ever before when taken with an aromatase inhibitor or fulvestrant in HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer. Kiskali is a pill that's proven to delay disease progression. Kiskali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Your future is ahead of you, so it's time to make the most of it with Kiskali. Because when you invest in yourself, everyone gets the best of you. You don't have to be great at tennis to be great at tennis. In fact, with the BetRivers.com Sportsbook app, anyone can enjoy the fun of live in-game betting. where you can bet on all the action, including point-by-point -point betting from around the world. Plus, with award-winning customer service, it's always game, set, and match. Nope. Took it easy on you. Download the BetRivers.com Sportsbook app. It's a whole new game. $200 instantly. Just for betting five bucks. <laughs> DraftKings, listen to me. You listen, you listen good. I appreciate you for recognizing how valuable my time is. But instantly... Stop! You're not gonna make me sweat a little bit? Feel some extra bump bumps in my chest while the game is going on? <laughs> oh, look, wait a minute. There's my $200. Damn! That was fast. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 to get $200 instantly. Action's so good, why bet NFL anywhere else? Touchdown! Nah, interception. For patients who have lost use of their hands, a new technology can help them control devices like computers with their thoughts. This is science fiction type stuff. Tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Seems fine to me. Yeah. Exactly. Dad, right. how big is the ocean? Let me call you back. That is a really good question. Tell me a joke. <laughs> you ready? Police in New Jersey rescue a dog from a hot car. This video posted on social media shows Seaside Heights police using a tool to get inside a locked SUV yesterday. They were able, you can see, to get the dog out. The dog appeared to be okay. Police were reminding pet owners against leaving dogs inside hot cars and trucks on these sweltering days. Thanks for joining us here at 6. Coming up on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, remembering Princess Diana 25 years after her death. I'm Dana Tyler. Good night. Tonight, the Justice Department argues in an historic detailed filing that sensitive and top secret documents at Donald Trump's Florida resort were hidden or moved on purpose, raising the possibility of an obstruction case. For the first time, we're seeing some of the top secret documents seized from the FBI search of the former president's office at Mar-a-Lago. CBS's Robert Costa and Jeff Pegues have new reporting. Triple digit temperatures, the long heat wave roasting the West this Labor Day weekend, plus the worsening water crisis in Mississippi. CBS's Janet Shamlian is in Jackson. With no water, it's a struggle. Navy SEAL death. A former Yale football captain dies during Hell Week. Tonight, questions about the culture of brutality and drug use. CBS's David Martin spoke to Kyle Mullen's mother. It's like a sick hazing. It's not training. And the medical breakthrough. CBS's Dr. John LaPoop looks at new technology that could change lives. This is science fiction thought stuff. This 
is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Wednesday night. We want to begin tonight with that extraordinary just before midnight filing from the Justice Department where the government laid out its investigation in far more detail than ever before. The document is 36 pages long with 18 additional pages of attachments and includes this photo at the end of the filing. The final page showing several classified secret and top secret documents. One noteworthy point, none of the folders bear a label or stamp indicating they've been declassified as Trump or his representatives have claimed. The Justice Department says even some of the FBI personnel and DOJ prosecutors on the case needed to get extra clearances to review some of that material. Now in this filing, the government lays out an important timeline, saying it tried to get these documents without a search warrant multiple times. They allege Donald Trump has pushed a, quote, incomplete and inaccurate narrative in the recent court filings, and that's why we are getting this new information. CBS's Robert Costa joins us. Good evening, Robert. There's a lot of new details tonight. Good evening, Nora. There certainly are many new details here, stunning in how it shines a bright light on what was inside Trump's home, and it gives us a new look into the scope of this high-profile investigation. The explosive legal document revealed for the first time ever photo evidence of some of the alleged highly classified documents seized from former President Trump's Florida home. The redacted FBI photograph shows classified cover sheets, some with HCS markings. That refers to the intelligence derived from covert human sources. Some of the documents were found in Trump's so-called 45 office at Mar-a-Lago, a location considered vulnerable by intelligence officials. The last thing you want to do is disclose those capabilities and the insights from them to our adversaries. The Justice Department has also laid out a case of possible obstruction of the probe by Trump and his lawyers, asserting they had evidence that government records were likely concealed and removed from the storage room and that efforts were likely taken to obstruct the government's investigation. Back on June 3rd, two months before the search of Mar-a-Lago, Trump's legal team told Justice Department officials that all sensitive documents had been returned. Obstruction here, according to the Department of Justice, is that they were told uh, false facts. They were told that all the documents had been turned over, when in fact uh, their evidence they developed showed they hadn't been turned over. And when they executed the search warrant, it turned out they had not been turned over. Responding today, Trump slammed the FBI's handling of the search and claimed he declassified documents at his home but in its filing, the government stated that Trump's lawyers never asserted that Trump had declassified the documents or asserted any claim of executive privilege. Mark Short, a longtime Republican and advisor to Vice President Pence in the White House, said Trump made a mistake. President Trump likely should not have been in possession of those documents. I don't think that's too far of a stretch for a rational person to say. Some legal experts say that while the probe is ongoing, criminal charges could follow. An indictment on obstruction of justice is absolutely possible. In most cases, uh, an indictment for obstruction of justice will accompany a substantive uh, criminal uh, uh, indictment, uh, but a standalone obstruction of justice uh, charge does happen. In the last few hours, sources close to Trump told CBS News that they now see this as both a legal and political war and expect Trump to be unbound in his efforts to galvanize his supporters and cast the Justice Department as political. All his federal agents continue to face increased threats. Nora? As the midterm approaches, Robert Costa, thanks very much. And tonight, Donald Trump is actually talking about that picture with top secret material on the floor of Mar-a-Lago. He's accusing the FBI of being, quote, very deceiving. CBS Justice Correspondent Jeff Begays is here. And Jeff, I mean, taking evidence of and a photo like that, that's standard procedure at the FBI, is it not? It is, but, you know, the Department of Justice, they knew that this photo would have an impact. I mean, take a look at it. You have this evidence, some of it, most of it marked top secret, sprawled out on the office floor of the former president at Mar-a-Lago. Look at this ruler here demonstrating the size of this document. And then the marker here, an, an evidence marker, the kind of evidence marker that you might see at a crime scene on a street somewhere. And CBS News has learned that there are a lot of pictures similar to this one 
in the investigative file. One question is, were these documents mixed in with Mr. Trump's personal property in an effort to conceal them? Sources tell me that the Department of Justice believes the former president and his representatives have been less than truthful. A law enforcement source says they have been lying to us. When asked if the filing yesterday fully showed the government's evidence, the answer was clear. There's more to come. Nor a Department of Justice officials say that they don't discuss ongoing cases. But in this case, because the Trump team asked for a special master, it really gave prosecutors an opening to show off evidence like that. Very interesting. Jeff McGays, thank you so much. Well, now to Jackson, Mississippi, and the latest details in the humanitarian water crisis facing nearly 200,000 people. President Biden quickly approved an emergency declaration and ordered federal assistance for the state. CBS's Janet Shamlin reports again from there. Tonight, Jackson's water crisis is rippling through the economy. To stay open, you have to buy ice and buy water. There's no other way to do it. Bravo restaurant manager Tanya Burns says what's coming out of their tap is no longer safe to cook with or drink. What you making, Lee? White chocolate sauce? White chocolate. How much business are you losing? We're losing between 10 and 20 percent is what we've seen weekly since the boil water notice started 35 days ago. Burns says they've been able to stay open until today. We will not be open this next hour and there's a good chance that we may not be able to open today. Go team. Go team. All right. Recent flooding contaminating city water is just the latest problem in a system broken for years. The other day we couldn't take showers because we didn't have any water at all. Tankers today distributed non-potable water. Water safe to drink is harder to come by. In some ways, the water crisis in Jackson is a tale of two cities, and these are the families that feel left behind. It's just uh, unfair, you know, to... Uh, this community. Jackson's population is 80% black, 25% live in poverty. The city, like many serving minorities, can't afford to fix this alone. Mississippi is slated to receive $75 million for water issues from the recently passed infrastructure bill, but it could cost a billion dollars just to fix Jackson. Ayanna Smith says she never drinks Jackson's water, even when it's considered safe. It's a problem that needs to be fixed because it's, it's not just happening from all the, you know, raining and stuff like this. This is one of the water giveaways across Jackson tonight. FEMA and the National Guard contributing to the effort to ease the long lines and get more water to people. The mayor has said water pressure should begin to resume tonight and there are plans for a new pump to go in tomorrow. But, Nora, for the people who live here, that is a temporary fix. Oh, really tough conditions. Janet Chamley, and thank you. Ahead of Labor Day, hot weather is beating the country. Tonight, more than 100 schools across Philadelphia were forced to close early due to insufficient or no air conditioning. Students were let out after indoor temperatures topped 90 degrees in some classrooms. It's especially hot out west. Nearly 55 million people are under excessive heat warnings and advisories. Some areas expecting to top 110 degrees. Let's bring in meteorologist Chris Warren from our partners at the Weather Channel. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Nora. Widespread dangerous heat expected across a big portion of the West under an area of high pressure, excessive heat warnings, heat advisories in effect. Not only will be, there be triple digit heat, some of the overnight lows staying in the 80s. This is some dangerous heat with triple digits expected, even in Los Angeles, usually getting that cool water from the Pacific, not this time, 94 degrees tomorrow. And in the tropics, still looking very active. In fact, expecting development out of a couple of areas of investigation, an 80% chance of development out of this. But for now, no immediate threat to land, Nora. Chris Warren, thank you for that update. We want to turn now to the war in Ukraine and fears of a Chernobyl-style disaster at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. A team of inspectors hope to reach the embattled site in a matter of hours on a mission to prevent a nuclear catastrophe. CBS's Deborah Pata continues her reporting from inside Ukraine. 
The team arrived in Ukrainian-held Zaporizhia today. It's over 70 miles from the nuclear power plant, which is inside Russian-occupied territory. Director General Rafael Grossi plans to start the inspection tomorrow. My mission is a technical mission. It's a mission that seeks to prevent a nuclear accident. The facility and surrounding towns continue to come under shelling, with both sides trading blame. Even as inspectors left Kyiv this morning, Ukraine accused Russia of hitting the town where the plant is located. This is the first time the atomic energy inspectors will be heading into a war zone to investigate a nuclear plant. Grassi wants to establish a permanent presence, but says this inspection will last until the weekend. However, locally installed Russian authorities say they must complete their work in just one day. Deborah Pada, CBS News, Kyiv, Ukraine. Now to an issue we've covered and investigated, the problem of sexual assault in the military. And tonight, there are disturbing new numbers from the Pentagon. Reports of sexual assaults jumped by 13% last year, with the largest increases by far in the Army. Close to 36,000 service members said in a confidential survey that they've experienced unwanted sexual contact. That's a dramatic increase over the roughly 20,000 who said that in 2018. The Navy is also dealing with the fallout of a growing scandal that's exposed a culture of abuse, cheating, and drug use in its SEAL candidate program. The details were revealed after a 24-year-old former college football star died during the grueling selection process known as Hell Week. CBS's David Martin spoke to his grieving mother. Kyle Mullen took this selfie just after making it through the infamous Hell Week of Navy SEAL training. It was a moment of triumph, but his mother Regina talked to him on the phone and knew something was terribly wrong. He could barely breathe, and I was yelling at him. I asked him, are you in a hospital? You're in pain, you have broken bones? No, Ma, don't worry, I love you. She texted him, I need to know your condition. You did not sound good. He died hours later, laying on the barrack floor. The cause of death was pneumonia, which his mother says was the result of submersion in the cold water off Southern California. But a search of a car he shared with other trainees found performance-enhancing drugs which he had told her about. He said it would help him help them recover faster um, and get them through Hell Week. It was the only, only way possible to get through. 40 members of Kyle Mullen's class of 210 would-be SEALs admitted taking banned substances, a warped testament to training which pushes young men to their absolute limits. That first day of that training, he was not given water all day. At the end of the day, he got heat stroke of 104.3 was his core temperature. Trainees can quit anytime they want, but Mullen refused. I'm not going to die, he wrote to himself. If I do, I'd rather die here. It's like a sick hazing. It's not training. I believe you need SEALs, but not this type of torture. As a result of Kyle Mullen's death, the SEALs are increasing both the number of medical observers and testing for performance-enhancing drugs but they have not made any changes in the training itself. Nora? David Martin, thank you. Well, a breakthrough technology is helping people communicate by using their mind. That story in 60 seconds. For just a little bit more, I can get you unlimited minutes, data, and text. Six hotspots, concert coupons, cable subscription, dental cleanings. We need all that? Do we need all that? I wouldn't think so. You should use consumer cellular. You have everything you need, nothing you don't. I'll throw in this tiny little fan. Car wash voucher. <laughs> Light up soap dispenser. I think you lost. Get the exact same coverage as the nation's leading carriers. All the talk, text, and data you need starting at $20. Consumer Cellular. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Yay! Ensure complete balanced nutrition with 27 vitamins and minerals. And ensure complete with 30 grams of protein. Oh, allergy sufferers. Bedtime means it's time to take Zizol. Zizol relieves allergies while you sleep, so you wake refreshed. Plus, it works faster than Claritin, and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec in a pill nearly half the size. Be wise all. Take Zizol at night. Imagine being able to text or send email using only your thoughts. It's more than just wishful thinking, and it's opening doors for potentially millions of people suffering from severe paralysis. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook has tonight's American Innovation. 
At his home in Melbourne, Australia, 62-year-old Philip O'Keefe struggles to do the simple things many of us take for granted. Getting dressed, washing myself, feeding myself. ALS took away his ability to control his hands and body. When you heard that there was a device that could use your thoughts to operate a mouse, what did you think? I thought, this is science fiction type stuff. But it's not the realm of science fiction anymore. In April of 2020, O'Keefe became one of the first patients to receive a Stentrode brain-computer interface implant. That's the device that goes inside the blood vessel. Dr. Tom Oxley is CEO of New York City-based Synchron. We've figured out how to deliver the sensors into the brain without open brain surgery. Inserted through the jugular vein, the device is implanted in the area of the brain that controls movement. Signals captured by a receiver in the chest are sent wirelessly to a device that decodes thoughts into commands for a digital device. The clinical study that we're running is purely for digital device control for people whose hands no longer control digital devices. O'Keefe demonstrated his computer skills by writing me this note. His thoughts focused on a mouse clicking letter by letter. I can sort my emails. I can surf the web. Clinical trials are continuing, and so far, five people have received the implant, including one in New York City. This gave me a reason to keep on living, and it's just been the most exciting two years of my life. And that, to Philip O'Keefe, is mind-boggling. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. And encouraging for so many. Still ahead, prayers for the safe return of a kidnapped American nun are answered. Purina One has the inside story on your pet's health. It starts inside the gut with Purina One with microbiome balance. Natural prebiotic nutrition promoting gut health and immune support. Purina One with microbiome balance. So you're 45. That's the perfect age to see some old friends, explore new worlds, and to start screening for colon cancer. Yep, with colon cancer rising in adults under 50, the American Cancer Society recommends starting to screen earlier at age 45. I'm Cologuard, a non-invasive way to screen at home on your schedule, and I find 92% of colon cancers. I'm for people 45 plus at average risk for colon cancer, not high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider if Cologuard is right for you. Since my mother got cancer from smoking, I've learned a lot of things, like how to help her out of bed, how to keep track of her medication, and how to keep her spirits up. The people you love are worth quitting for. You can quit. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help getting free medication. I typed in grandma's name and birth year, and there she was, working at the Five and Dime. My dad's been wondering about his childhood address for 70 years, <laughs> and I found it in five minutes. That little leaf helped me learn all the names from the old neighborhood. It felt like a treasure hunt. The 1950 census adds vivid new detail to your family story. And it's available now on Ancestry. With thyroid eye disease, I was always wearing sunglasses to hide my bulging eyes. I wore them just about everywhere. But then my doctor recommended Tepeza, a prescription medicine for thyroid eye disease, and I didn't have to hide so much. In a clinical study, more than 8 out of 10 patients taking Tepeza had less eye bulging, and nearly 7 out of 10 saw improvements in double vision. Tepeza is an infused medicine. Patients taking Tepeza may experience infusion reactions. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as high blood pressure, fast heartbeat, shortness of breath, or muscle pain. Before receiving Tepeza, tell your doctor if you have diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, or are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Tepeza may raise your blood sugar even if you do not have diabetes and may worsen IBD such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. I look more like my old self again. Now I wear sunglasses because I want to. Ask your doctor if Tepeza is right for you and visit mytepeza.com to see Jeannie's before and after photos. Tonight, new COVID booster shots that target the Omicron variants could be available within days. The FDA today authorized the updated boosters made by Pfizer and Moderna. Now the CDC has to recommend who should get the additional shot. 
New gun laws go into effect in New York City Thursday, making the popular Times Square area a gun-free zone. That includes much of the Broadway theater district and bars. The move follows the Supreme Court ruling that struck down New York State's concealed carry law, raising concerns about more guns in Manhattan. Tonight, an 83-year-old nun from Louisiana is in U.S. custody nearly five months after she was abducted from her bed in West Africa. Sister Sue Ellen Tennyson was kidnapped in April amid escalating violence and jihadi attacks in Burkina Faso. Details of her release are not known. Well, coming up next, a shipment labeled Baby Wipes turns out to be a colossal stack of cocaine. Type 2 diabetes? Discover the power of three in the Ozempic Trizone. Oh, 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 Ozempic. In my Ozempic Trizone, I lowered my A1C, CV risk, and lost some weight. Ozempic provides powerful A1C reduction. In studies, the majority of people reached an A1C under 7 and maintained it. Ozempic lowers the risk of major cardiovascular events, such as stroke, heart attack, or death, in adults also with known heart disease. And you may lose weight. Adults lost up to 14 pounds. Ozempic isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. Don't share needles or pens or reuse needles. Don't take Ozempic if you or your family ever had medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrineoplasia syndrome type 2 or if allergic to it. Stop Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, or an allergic reaction. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Gallbladder problems may occur. Tell your provider about vision problems or changes. Taking Ozempic with a urea or insulin may increase low blood sugar risk. Side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea may lead to dehydration which may worsen kidney problems. Join the millions already taken Ozempic. Ask your health care provider about the Ozempic Trizone. You may pay as little as $25 for a three-month prescription. So, you're at the age now where you may start feeling certain urges to buy things at full price. You read my diary? But honey, you should really think about practicing safe spending with Amazon. You get low prices on everyday essentials, plus free shipping on millions of items. Do you have any questions? What is bang for your buck? Learn all the ways to save with Amazon. Ah. For COPD, ask your doctor about Breast Tree. Breast Tree gives you better breathing, symptom improvement, and helps prevent flare-ups. Breast Tree won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breast Tree more than prescribed. Breast Tree may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about Breast Tree. For kids, the world is one big adventure. To keep them healthy and safe no matter where they go, we recommend having them vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccines save lives, and they are the best defense against the virus. And now, vaccines are available for children under the age of five. Talk to your pediatrician about the best vaccine for your little adventurer. I'm Mary Calvi. Coming up, the woman who found herself trapped upside down at the gym on a piece of equipment. Inside Edition, next on your CBS station. Border officials in Texas are reporting their largest cocaine bust in 20 years. Nearly 2,000 packages of cocaine with a street value of almost $12 million were seized last week. Smugglers labeled the shipment baby wipes, but that didn't fool the drug-sniffing dogs. Today marks 25 years since the tragic death of Princess Diana. Visitors paid their respects at Kensington Palace, placing flowers, photos, artwork, and other tributes. The beloved People's Princess died in a car crash in Paris while trying to escape the paparazzi. The royal family marked the sad anniversary in private. And we will be right back. Why hide your skin? If Dupixent has your moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis under control. Hide my skin? Not me. By hitting eczema where it counts, Dupixent helps heal your skin from within, keeping you one step ahead of eczema. Hide my skin? Not me. And that means long-lasting, clearer skin, and fast itch relief for adults. With Dupixin, you can show more skin with less eczema. Hide my skin, not me. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. 
Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. When you help heal your skin from within, you can change how your skin looks and feels. And that's the kind of change you notice. Talk to your eczema specialist about Dupixin, a breakthrough eczema treatment. Been getting a lot of calls like this lately. The Zebra compares the top insurance companies, so you could save over $900 on car and home insurance. That's a lot of cash. Compare and save today at thezebra.com. It's the Claritin provides non-drowsy symptom relief from over 200 indoor and outdoor allergens, day after day. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. I occasionally get bladder leaks. I tried Always Discreet underwear. It absorbs an entire glass of water. It fit like a glove. It just felt like real underwear. Game changer. <laughs> it's the protection we deserve. After trying lots of things to manage her IBSC, things changed for Jill when her doctor recommended treating it with a once daily pill. And that's when she said yes to adding Linzess. Linzess is not a laxative. It helps you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and is proven to help relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. Do not give Linzess to children less than two. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Could your story also be about IBSC? Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Learn how AbbVie and Ironwood could help you save on Linzess. Finally, tonight in the city of brotherly love, there is growing affection for an unlikely sport, polo. Here's CBS's Anne Marie Green. Not far from some of Philadelphia's toughest neighborhoods. This is a little patch of heaven. Polo champion Kareem Rosser learned to play the sport as a child at the Chamonix Equestrian Center. I'm from a place in Philly. It's called the Bottom. Um, you know, it's probably one of the worst parts of the city. The Work to Ride program here took Rosser from the bottom, well, to the top. Being able to go to uh, military school and go to college and uh, play polo at the highest level and the number of ways that probably saved me from, you know, ending up you know, dead in the streets in Philadelphia. At Chamonix, children learn the sport of kings, but those in the Work to Ride program don't need a king's ransom. In exchange for rigorous work at the stables, they get lessons for free. I fell off a few times. I guess that just kind of boosts my confidence. Falling off boosted your confidence? I don't know. I guess because I fell off like a lot of times, it kind of just like made me braver. 17-year-old Alyssa Perrin is preparing for the city's first ever polo classic next month. Matches organized by Work to Ride. Do you hope it inspires a few people? I really, really hope that there are little boys and girls in the crowd that look just like us, that are just like, I can do this. Nice! Because she's learned some of the most important goals are scored off the field. Anne Marie Green, CBS News, Philadelphia. What a great program. And that is tonight's CBS Evening News. I'm Nora O'Donnell here in our nation's capital. Good night. Let me tell you something about the tri state area. We have it all food, culture, business. The most unique people on the planet. Diverse neighborhoods have diverse needs. What happens here is just as vital as what happens here. That's why we live in the communities we serve. Reporting for the communities we serve. So when big things happen, you get the answers you need now. We know this because we, 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 we live here too. On your corner, in your corner. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer during the final days of the summer supercharged sales event. You still have time to lock in your order on select Ford vehicles and we'll lock in your rate. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. So stop by your Ford dealer today during the final days.